Yes, yes, it's Anthony F. Uh, tonight slash this morning, we're going to take a look at a couple of uh, security apps. Now, what do I mean by security? Um, in the IT field, um, there's a division that is with security, uh, the protection of your network system, protection of your computers. Um, so, I'm not going to discuss uh, security of your computers because that's, usually that's a physical thing. Um, you would physically uh, put in a USB device on a computer and gather information and come back later. That's something totally different. Uh, but usually network security is the main or front line of securing a computer, the internet, your job or your home in general. So uh, we're going to look here at a mobile uh, complement or alternative to the computer software called Metasploit. A lot of security uh, network uh, specialists use to not only um, test their network, but also just to monitor the network, make sure everything's running well. So this is the Android version. It's called Desploit. You want to click on it here, and what it does is, uh, as uh, all uh, network uh, apps, it first gives you an idea of the network you are connected to. So it shows you the gateway or the subnet mask top. Then it shows you the name of the router or the main uh, device giving you internet. In this case, we're connected to a hotspot, the Galaxy S4 active hotspot right now. And then it shows you the devices that are on or that are connected to the network. So right now it's just us. And it says in the parentheses, this device. So we're going to go to the main device or the router, as will be. And these will be the options that you have. Um, you can pawn the router. Uh, it will try to guess your guess the password. Uh, and in this case, we don't really have a router, so um, it wouldn't really count. But it goes you to the web sends you to the website, and you type in what model web router that you have, and it will give you the default passwords. You can uh, trace perform trace routes on the target. Uh, port scanner is nice. lets you know what ports are open. Uh, UDP, FTP, things like that. Uh, inspector gives you more detailed information as to what's going on here. So this really is for a, um, a device that you pick on the network. Um, a router really wouldn't give you much information. Uh, as opposed to uh, connected to uh, open up a device, lets you know what the device is and things like that. So here shows you the services that the S4 is open to. Let's you know that is Linux. Of course, it's Android. And those are the things that it has going on. Cool. So it looks like they updated this because before it didn't give you this much information. So that's good there getting better for this device. Um, vulnerability finder. Now for some reason, as you can see, it's kind of chopping up the screen. Usually it's not like that. Usually it's a little bit better. So this might be a bug they got going on. Login cracker is good. Uh, the main thing, okay, well let's skip over the main thing. Packet forger, if you're really, really good, and you can create package, packages. Uh, not into that yet. Packets. But that will come in handy for the uh, advanced class. So this is a good, good section here. The MITM, which stands for Man in the Middle Attack. Uh, this is what most network security apps do. Most network security malware does. So it does a simple sniff. Now, the terminology sniff and snort is a lot of things that happens in the network security world. Uh, if you say that out loud to other people, they think you're going crazy. I've had people give me funny looks, even though they were network techs also. Uh, so Simple Sniff, basically what it does is it captures the packets that's floating around in the Wi-Fi in the network. And it, uh, it, 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 what's the word? It, in detail, finds out what the packets are, what they do, and how you can use them. So as you go down, the simple sniff, this once again tells you, it sniffs the packets and lets you know what's going on, what's happening in that network. Then there's the password sniffers, which actually sniffs the packets 
that make up a password. Session Hijacker, where you can actually hijack a session on another device and take control. Kill Connections is one of my favorites because uh, when I tell the kids to go to bed and stop using your phones, they say, okay, but they're still using the phone. So you use Kill Connections and it will actually stop any device connected to that internet from getting on the internet. Redirect is nice where um, you can list a separate uh, web address so that when a person tries to go to one, they're sent to the so one that you selected. Replace images is really cool. I actually use that. Um, if you go, let me see here. You can pick an image or choose a web image. And once that's there, because it's sniffing or it's redirecting all the packets through this device, through this software, any website anybody goes to that is also connected to the network will get the pictures on the website that you decide. It's really cool. Script injection, if you're advanced and you want to throw scripts that will work. Um, once again, this does not happen out into the wide world. This is only into a controlled area. Um, something that you would do at home for anybody that wants to con that connects you want a practical joke. Or if you just want to observe and study and learn about networking at on your home. Um, how would this be uh, put into practice at work? Well... Say um, you have a, a lot of time for everybody to go online and people go past it a lot of time. If people are still searching on the internet after a certain time, you'd actually have it so that whatever website they go to, the pictures on the website will show your company logo and say you have exceeded <laughs> your website time. That's enough. So that's cool. Um, replace videos is basically the same way. Um, you could, uh, any video that a person goes to on a website, Instead of playing a video that they want to play, they'll play a video that you decide to, to uh, play. Basically, it's a redirect with multimedia, which is cool. And the bottom is custom filter for the advanced class. So just at that quick look, we looked at uh, Display and what it can do. It was pretty awesome. Um, check it out yourself. I'll put the uh, download link in there. Uh, this is Anthony F. Are you at Android.com?